no such thing as I want one kid to be favored over another kid in terms of ownership of the farm. I mean, it's true that Jeremy's always kind of been the de facto, you know, people have just assumed, um, and, um, but all the kids want to have some sort of, you know, finger in the pie. Oh my God, you guys, the Roloff family is falling apart and you'll never believe why. Zach and Jeremy have secretly been in a fight for years and the reason is truly insane. I don't know about you guys, but to me, it's always been pretty clear that there's some sibling rivalry between Zach and Jeremy. Even though the twins were clearly best friends on the show, it did seem like they were always trying to keep up with each other. And Zach and Jeremy both got engaged and married to their wives, Tori and Audrey, about around the same time. And shortly after Tori, Zach's wife announced her first two pregnancies. Audrey, Jeremy's wife, announced her first two as well. And the rivalry eventually caught up to them a couple years ago when all the tension from over the years finally exploded. By now, we all know that the Roloff family has had some issues over the last few years. It began when Matt and Amy decided to divorce, and things have been going crazy since then. After that, Molly and Jacob have decided to stop appearing on the show, and just a few years later, Jeremy and Audrey decided to do the same as well. And this move came as a shock to fans because all of the kids had grown up on the family's TV show, but Jeremy especially had used the fame from being on the show to launch multiple businesses, and he had always had an interest in one day taking over the farm from his dad. So why would he leave the show he had always believed that his future was in the farm. Well, in 2020, it became very clear that there were more going on behind the scenes than anyone in the family was letting on. Fans began to notice that the twins didn't really seem to get along anymore, and neither did their wives. So what really caused the feud between Zach and Jeremy and their wives, Tori and Audrey? Well, a source told The Sun that the Roloff twins had a blowout fight and hadn't talked since. Apparently, Zach had said that he didn't feel that his brother respected or supported him in the ways a good brother should. Was it because the two had drifted apart after after, you know, Jeremy had left the show in 2018, or was it something much deeper? Many people believe that while the alleged fight did have something to do with the rift between the twins, it does seem like there may have been more to the story, and it, of course, has to do with the farm. Supposedly, Jeremy actually put in an offer on the farm and was rejected by his dad, Matt. Who would have guessed Zach and Jeremy would both be begging for the farm after all these years? It's mostly shocking because Zach always said that he had no interest in buying or running the farm, but Jeremy always did. I'm sure it was a shock to Jeremy, especially when Zach suddenly wanted the farm too. And some people think that Matt was hesitant to sell to Jeremy and Audrey since Little People Big World is still filming and Jeremy left the show years ago. How would it affect, you know, the series? Well, Zach and Tori still do appear on the show, so if they were to take over the farm, it could be a part of the series, but supposedly Zach doesn't like how his dad does business and claims he's too quick to spend money. But was this the real reason for the twins' feud, or was there more craziness going on? It seemed like around this time, Zach, Jeremy, and their wives completely stopped interacting on social media before they were often doing things together, especially with their kids, and that all stopped quickly. It even got to the point where there was, you know, neither of them acknowledged each other for their shared 30th birthday. It was a sad sight to see for people who were used to seeing you know, the twins grow up as best friends. And the social media shade got even weirder after a strange post from Tori a few months after Lila was born. In June 2020, Tori posted a photo of Lila laying next to a friend's child. The post said Lila was meeting another baby for the first time. And people were so shocked to see that, realizing that it must have meant that Lila hadn't met her cousin, Jeremy and Audrey's son, Bodiev. And the speculation ramped up even even more after Tori announced her devastating news. In March of 2021, Tori announced that she had unfortunately suffered a miscarriage. Just a few months later, Audrey announced her own pregnancy. It definitely seems like a pattern of Audrey getting pregnant just a few months after Tori does, but this time it didn't have a happy ending for Tori. It's unclear if the sister-in-laws you know, didn't get along because of the fight between their husbands or if there's an entirely different issue between them. Years before the fights, their followers on social media were always commenting about how different the girls were and many wonder if that, that you know caused the bad feelings between them. But it seems like the pregnancies caused more distance between the siblings, but at some point in 2021, the Roloff grandkids were finally able to reunite. Just a few months before Amy's second wedding to Chris, Matt decided that he was going to start a new project on the farm, building a new barn. Hey everybody, today is a beautiful, beautiful day. We're right dab in the middle of pumpkin season. We got things going on all around us. Look at this, we're working through wagon tours. We got the train running. Jacob, thank you for being my photographer. <laughs> Jacob, yeah. Jacob is totally helping out with everything and everybody's having a great time. So it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day at Roll Farm. And uh, we 
hope the weather continues because our pumpkin season. This came with a lot of controversy because Amy and Chris were worried that it wouldn't be ready in time for the wedding, which they had decided to have at the Roloff Farms, even though Amy doesn't live there anymore and sold her share of the farm. But when Matt laid the cement for the barn, he had all of his grandchildren to come out and put their handprints in it. It seems as though both of the twins were there as well, although that was never confirmed. It was the first sign of unity for the twins after years of separation, but once the wedding festivities for Amy started, the family was forced to start getting along again, or at least to pretend like it. Audrey and Tori were seen photographed together for the first time in years at Amy's bridal shower, and it didn't end there. At Amy's actual wedding, the twins and their wives were seen in dozens of pictures together. It seemed as though they were finally on better terms. They even began interacting on social media again, and it seemed like they had patched things up for good. And that was until a few weeks ago. Because a few weeks ago, Jeremy did a Q&A on his Instagram where he asked his fans for questions and answered them honestly. One fan even asked why we didn't see him on Little People Big World anymore, and he said, if you don't know, we stopped maybe four years ago now for many reasons, but I think in short, it became something I didn't want to associate with anymore. It's become that athlete that just won't hang up the cleats, so he's doing damage to the team and injuring himself in the process. Audrey and I had other things we wanted to do besides fabricating the TV drama. Thankful for the opportunity, it was a great run, etc, etc, but for those of you paying attention, I know you understand. Tori, Jeremy's sister-in-law, did her own Q&A a day or so later and addressed his comments when someone asked her what she thought. She said, I don't know what he said, but each individual family had to make their own decisions. It still works for our family and we are enjoying our story. It needed to end for them. And everyone was shocked to see Jeremy call out his parents and brother who still appear on the show and the crew that had given them a career and a source of income for so many years. Tori's response also brought up the point that if she hadn't seen what he said, she must not watch his Instagram stories and maybe the rift between the brothers isn't as patched up as we once thought. Well guys, Jeremy's Instagram shade seems to be getting louder and louder as time goes on. Both Jeremy and Audrey have started to become more vocal about their attempts to buy a farm or land anywhere now that buying the Roloff farm seems to be off the table. Before she gave birth to their third child, Audrey shared photos of the wildflower field on Roloff farm saying that one day she would have her own wildflower field to run through with her kids, implying that buying Roloff Farms was off the table for good. Jeremy seemed to confirm that idea last week. He posted an Instagram story saying that they bought the house they are currently living five years ago with the intention of staying there for one to two years before they bought the family farm. He said that that was their plan, but obviously it didn't work out like that. He also said that they're now looking for new land entirely, which confirms the Roloff Farms is out of the picture of the question, but why? There could be a handful of reasons, and they all have to do with Matt. It's possible that Matt isn't ready to sell the farm yet, he still seems to love it, and is still always doing projects, plus he just bought Amy out of it. It doesn't seem like he has plans to go anywhere anytime soon. Then you have the fact that you know Zach and Jerry both wanted it, maybe Matt didn't want to have to decide between the two, so instead he chose neither of them. Or maybe it was just a matter of Jeremy and Audrey not being able to afford what Matt wanted to sell it for. But guys, no matter what the reason is, it definitely seems like the farm is the reason for a lot of the family issues and fights right now. It's definitely a sad sight to see, and we can only hope the boys will be able to make up once and for all someday soon. Well guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please do me a huge, huge, huge favor. Hit that like, follow, share, subscribe button, and y'all better stay tuned for many more videos.